up beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl yanni and today we're gonna be doing a full face full of elf i love elf products so very much i think they're reasonably priced i think they're affordable and they're near and dear to my heart the first foundation i believe that i ever purchased for myself and all their products were the first products that i used when i wanted to get into makeup so with that being said I have been watching um, Elf for a very long time. I bought tons of their products. They have a lot of hits, they have a lot of misses, but what brought me to do this was this right here, actually. This is their Retro Paradise collection, and the only reason why I got this was because one of the girls that I watch, Juicy Jazz, she has been recommending this and she did such good review on it i believe um i love sarai also reviewed this and she absolutely loved this so i was like wow that's two out of three and then i had another girl just start raving about these lip pencils and i was like really lip pencils from elf okay i have to try this out so i said i'm gonna do a full face full of elf products so if you're interested in seeing my first impressions on those products, plus what a full face of Elf will do for you, then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, because you know, we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint, and keep on watching. Okay, so the only thing I do not have is brow products from Elf. I don't have a brow pencil, and I don't have a brow pomade or powder, because I tried their pomade. I wasn't a fan of it. I tried their powder and wasn't really a fan of it. Their micro brow pencil, I believe it is. That one is a really good pencil, but I felt like the color was just a tad bit too light for me. Um, if they had darker shades or um, a, a larger shade range in it, then I would say yes, go out for it. So I'm just gonna put my regular brow products on, but I do have a brow product that I love. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my brows on. This is as best as I can get them. So the brow product that I was talking about from e.l.f., obviously, because this is all e.l.f., is the e.l.f. Brow Wow. This is in the color Brunette. And I love this. It makes my hairs look super real and nice and fluffy. And I can't get enough of it. I can't find my mirror. So yeah, this I absolutely adore and I love. And it just makes my hairs look nice and volumized because it has little like fibers in it okay so we're gonna go ahead and go in with our eyes so to prime our lids i'm gonna be using the elf putty eye primer and i have used this quite a few times so for me this formula is very drying not my favorite formula um i bought the black one this is the one in rose or rose however you want to say it um, I did, like I said, buy the black one and I haven't tried that one yet, but today we're going to go for a pretty light look because I'm wanting to play with this lime green color that's in here. So I wanted to use a, a light base. I didn't want to use a dark base. So yes, let's go in. Let's prime our lids. Do this. I'm just taking a Real Techniques brush. I'm not using any e.l.f. brushes today um, because I packed them all away because I wanted to use um, a bunch of other brushes that I hadn't touched because I was using e.l.f. brushes for the longest time and I just kept gravitating to them and I was like, okay, I got like tons and tons of brushes and I don't use all these other brushes. So I figured, let me put these e.l.f. brushes away. But my play on e.l.f. brushes is that they're really, really good. I enjoy them a lot. I think they're one of the best and most reasonably priced brushes around. I would recommend them to anyone. So definitely go out and get them. I like their um, black line, the $3 line, but I did start out with the $1 line, but now it's not $1 anymore, it's $2. But their $3 line, their studio brushes, with the, which are the black brushes, those are so good. I enjoy those. All right lids are primed now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the palette and i'm gonna use nice fresh brushes to just wash my brushes just gonna go into this and it looks like this so pretty all right so 
we are gonna go ahead and go in to let's see to kind of set that primer i'm gonna go ahead and go into this color right here which is canvas we do have some fallout so don't be alarmed and i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna put this right over that eye primer like i said this primer to me is just a little a little dry but I mean it gets the job done I, some some deeper colors tend to get like patchy on me like I've purple I've dyed I've done purples and I've done greens and for some reason it looks patchy it's not as smooth as I thought it would be but okay so I think 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 I'm gonna go into this color right here it's called fuego I'm gonna take that into, on that same brush, I'm gonna take that in my crease and do a wash of that color. Their eyeshadow formula is so good. I really do like these 18 pan shadows. I have all of them except the Earth and Ocean or Ocean one, it's like the blues and green one. That one never really, I don't know, called to me, but I have the other ones. My favorite one is the J Kissa and Elf Collaboration. And then the second favorite one of mine is the 18 Hit Wonder one, which has like nice yellows and reds and blues and purples. So if you don't have the J Kissa one, you can get the 18 Hit Wonder one. And that has like a nice little rainbow um, in it. I've done plenty of rainbow looks with that one. So, but this one is very summery, very, very bright. I like that it's like, light colors you have some pops of blues you have a deep black in there you have uh the canvas color which is pretty light so i enjoy that so i'm taking that and i'm putting that all in my crease let's take that let's see where this goes i really want to use the lime green but i want to put something down in my crease so I figured this one would look nice against the lime green color. I'm just going to go in with this. This is like one of my first no-name brushes. I don't even know. I got this from, I think my sister gave me this like a set. I'm going to take that lime green color. I'm going to go ahead and start to put that all over my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I dig that. We do get a little bit of fallout with this one, but I like the color. I'm going to take that in. Just right in here. Almost like I'm doing a cut crease, but not like being intricate with it. So I just want to make sure. Put that right there. This is so nice and pretty. Be careful with this color because there is a lot of fallout with it. But I like it. I like the color in it. See, in my pan, there's just a little bit of fallout there. I'm going to go back into that Morphe brush, back into Fuego. I'm just going to run it really lightly. into that called Bahamar for shadow I think that's what we're gonna do for the moment I am gonna do use these elf eyeshadow tapes because I'm gonna create a liner but not um, I'm actually gonna use their cream gel liner I bought this so long ago and I never used it um, I use their liquid liners but I'm not such a fan of them so we're just going to attempt to do this. 
I think that looks somewhat even. So it looks like this. This is their cream gel liner. Let's open it up. And this comes with a little brush so that you can use like this. And I know we're going for a summer look, but I do want to put a liner on. Um, so we're gonna attempt to do this, and it looks like this is brand spanking new. And then we have this, so let's go ahead and go in. I put my mirror, I'm gonna go really close to my mirror because I'm doing, if this is the first time I've really played with this, so it is creamy okay so I did the other one off camera it was very easy to work with I actually like the formula a lot it's very creamy so I created this now we're gonna smoke it out so I'm actually gonna go into I know I use black <laughs> I know I use black, but I wanted to smoke it out with this brown that's right here. So it's called coconut. It's like a... And we're just kind of playing, so I don't know where this is gonna take me. I'm using this angled brush. Going like right on top. Sorry, I have to get like really close to my mirror just to like diffuse the gel liner a little bit. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. One is longer than the other, obviously, but I'm gonna fix that. And the best way to fix that is with a wipey. So I am going to fix this fallout that I have going on. Hmm. Looks a little better. One's a little higher than the other, but that's just okay, it's what it is. All right, so we're gonna go in with our complexion. For now oh no let's do our mascara so for mascara i'm using the elf length and volume mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras at the drugstore i love that it has this small little wand fits perfectly it makes my lashes nice and long and it voluminizes it like they're so pretty i love this mascara so very much i have to buy a curling a lash curl I mean because I did have a lash curler and my son took it and I can't find my other lash curler so I have to go buy one and it was by elf I bought the elf one because I don't need such an expensive eyelash curler now we're gonna tight line and this is the no budge retract retractable liner from elf and it's in the color black and I'm just gonna run that right in my tight line because we are going to go in with false lashes. Now, I blame Juicy Jazz for absolutely putting me on to these lashes. So, her favorite lashes are the foam ink lashes in Drama Queen, which are these. And I love these. These are beautiful. But I did run into another pair on the website that is called Troublemaker. And I wanted to try these out. And I was like, yes, I'm going to buy these. So we're going to pop these on. I'll be right back. For our foundation today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. This is in the color beige. And I want to use this like I have if I have a bunch of breakouts, but I don't have another e.l.f. foundation. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I have the black one because it came in a kit, but I do have the pink one. So we're going to use that today. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put this on the back of my hand. Hopefully this is still my color. And I'm gonna take my sponge. Mm, might be a little dark, that's all right. And I love this um, foundation. This foundation, it cleans the skin, um, excuse me. It um, has like a medication in it that when you put it on like your breakouts, it helps to clear them. So I enjoy this foundation a lot and it's got some really great coverage, like really great coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with concealer. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. This is the original. I have the hydrating too. I love the hydrating, but because it's summertime, like I said, we're gonna go with the mattifying stuff. Stuff that's gonna be a little drier, a little have more staying power, you know? Sorry if you hear my children, but they're acting like rats. But it wouldn't be my house if it wasn't. So I've blended most of it out. In the inner corner, I'm going to use this flat Real Techniques brush. This is my Instapop Full Accent brush. But because it's flat and it's small, I'm going to use it for under my eyes. Just kind of get in here where I have a lot of darkness. And then down in here. I'm just going to blend that right out. Voila. Same thing in here. I'm going to just pass my sponge just because I always like to press everything in. My kids is we're gonna set a little bit under the eye um i have liked not doing too too bright of an eye um i don't want to look like raccoon eyes so i got the matte setting powder from um elf obviously this is a whole elf video duh and i'm just gonna put a little bit on in the cap so that i can run a little right under and just set the concealer and then i have been liking taking this type of brush a flat foundation brush i don't use it for foundation i usually use it for powder and i take some powder on there and i go from the outside in i learned this trick on tiktok because i have fine lines and i don't want my concealer to like get stuck in so you should go from the outside in so i do that and i'm just gonna set that for right now because we're gonna go in with some cream products. I'm gonna just set right here, right here where I put all of the concealer. So anywhere I put the concealer, that's where I'm just gonna set for now. Um, I've been really enjoying doing cream products and then layering or layering cream products with powder products. So we're gonna go in with cream. So for cream bronzer, this is the e.l.f. Multi-Stick, and this is in Radiant, Bron Radiant Bronze. And this looks like this, and it is a shimmer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Kabuki brush. I've been using this for cream products. So this one right here, this is from La Rouge. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush, like that. And I'm just going to Go ahead and put a little bit. You can even use your finger. I'm gonna use my finger so you guys can see. Let me see the little bronziness. Just right there. Take it on the other side to create like a nice warm bronzer. Like that. Like I said, I'm gonna take some on my brush and just kind of stamp it. Super pretty. Buff this one out. And you want to buff up rather than buff down, obviously. And then we're going to take some 
I'm gonna put right in here, up on my hairline. So for blush, this is the Sparkling Rose Cream Blush, like this. And this definitely has like a little shimmer in it. And I'm gonna take my finger. You can use a brush as well. I'm just going to, I've been really enjoying just kind of meshing it right into, not putting it on the apple per se, but like kind of lifting it and putting it into where my highlight would go, just to kind of elongate my face a little bit. So like starting my blush back here versus right in here. I enjoy that. It has like a little sheen to it, so it makes your face look nice and healthy. I enjoy that a lot. They don't have a cream highlight, or I don't have a cream highlight or from them. So we're just going to leave it at that. Um, so I'm going to set the rest of my face with the matte powder. And then do that. We are also going to use the Primer Infused Bronzer and Sunkissed and the Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy to set those blush and uh, bronzer. So let's go in with my bronzer first. I'm just gonna go right over. I love this bronzer. And I lightly, like, go light on it right under here. You know, I'm not got too much too fast because then you look like you got punched in your cheek. All right, let's set this blush because I got to go regulate these children. Right here. I'm right here. It's right into the bronzer. I'll put a little on my nose. It's right there. That's my lovely son. That's my four-year-old because he's been acting up today. I'm going to contour my nose a little bit with that um, sun -kissed, Forever Sun Kissed Bronzer. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this powder and powder our face everywhere that needs powdering. Because we want to lock everything in. Like everything. So I'm just taking that matte powder and I am powdering like nobody is business. Now we're gonna finish our lower lash line. So we're gonna go in to that lovely lime green color and we're gonna run that on our lower lash line. I'm gonna take this and go like this. And just take it like that. Like that. And dip. And take that into my shadow. And I know you're probably like, you're looking crazy. I am not. I promise you. Let's get some of that fallout. We're going to go ahead and go with a detailing brush. I'm just going to take this little one right here. And I'm going to run that Fuego color right under that. So we could just kind of mirror what we did on the top. Really simple. Just wanted to play with some makeup. The sun is going down and I'm leaving. I'm losing my light. Just run that right under. Now... For inner corner highlights, this color has been like calling to me, but it's gonna throw it off. So I think I'm gonna go with this color because it's like a pink with like a green reflex in it, and I'm like living for that color. So I'm gonna take that on this little brush. It's kind of creamy, and I'm just gonna pop that right in here. Oh, that's pretty. Right in there. Hmm. 
maybe if I spray my brush, it'll bring it like a little bit more out there. I'm going to use my e.l.f. setting, one of my e.l.f. setting sprays. This is the e.l.f. Um, matte blotting mist. But it's a setting spray. You can use any, set, any setting spray. This is the one I have. I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to take some of that. See if the setting... Oh, perfect. Looks better. I'm going to roll that right to the lower lash. Nice. So for highlight, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, these highlights, I forget the name of this one, but this one is in white gold. I want to say this is a flare highlight, maybe. It's been such a long time. And I'm going to take that and just, yes, elf and their highlights. Matter of fact, how about I do this? I'm going to spray my face. Mm. Their spray smells so yummy. I also like their dewy mist, which is in coconut. It's my obsession. But we're going for a matte look. Like I said, it's summertime and you want your makeup to stay. This is your go-to. Or at least this is my go-to. Love it. I'll swirl my brush in there. And then boom. Just let that build. You already have some of that from that sheen from the products that you put earlier. And I'm gonna take my finger, nose, cupid's bow, right down in here. I'm gonna take some of that, put it right up here, and right up here. Boom. All right. All right, home stretch, guys. Home stretch. Now I'm going to do my waterline. I'm going to use that same retractable e.l.f. liner. Oh, I want to try this, this liquid glitter eyeshadow. Actually, we should just put this in our inner corner. We're just going to layer this right on top of that color that we put in the inner corner this is the flirty birdie glitter eyeshadow so let's try that i forgot that i had that i got so excited with elf so. all right packaging is stunning because you have like this corally kind of stuff going on all right so i'm gonna take it out this and we're just gonna Pop that right in there. And it's perfect because it kind of matches the color I already put down. So just kind of enhancing it. So pretty. Now for something that I was super excited for, this is the Retro Paradise Line and Shine Lip Kit. I was so excited for this. Not that I need more lip liners because I have a ton of them. But like I said, I blame it on Juicy Jazz because she totally made me buy this. I got the lip kit out. They come with four liners. So a pink one and three relatively nude ones. Well, two nude ones and I feel like this is like a deeper. This could be a nude for someone who's deeper toned. But for me, this is like a brown. So got a peachy and a brownie nude. And then you have a lip gloss with gold flex in it. So we're going to try, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this one. Oh, and it's a wooden pencil, but it's super creamy. Let me see. Mm, this might be too close to my skin tone, so maybe we won't go with that one. Let's go with this one. It's the deeper nude. Okay, that one is better. 
still really light, but better than the other one. I do overdraw my lip because I don't have a top lip. Wow, I'm impressed. These are really creamy. And I enjoy them because I didn't have a liner from e.l.f., a lip liner. I'm going to go in with this Retro Paradise. This is in a moment. I'm going to take that and just... It smells like candy. It's almost like guava. If you ever if you're Hispanic and you know what guava is, that's what it smells like. Guava or even passion fruit. Mmm, smells yummy. I have one more product from the Retro Paradise palette, uh, Paradise line that I wanted to try. This is the Glow Up Body Oil, and this is in the color Sunkissed. So I have tried the, I bought the ColourPop one, and I've tried it like once or twice, and it was all right. I tried another one um from bath and body works and that one was like a spray i think it was or no it was a lotion because i bought a kabuki and that one was like all right wasn't my favorite um so i wanted to try this because juicy jazz loves the way this looks i mean not that i spend time into the sun but i like to have products like if in case i do decide to do a photo shoot, that I want to go outside, that I want to do something different. I want to look nice and glowy. It looks like this and it has a pump. I love this packaging a lot. My sun is going down, but we are going to go ahead and use this. Put some right on the brush. And then we are gonna just glow to the gods. Mm, this smells like guava too. Oh, I love it. because today I have sleeveless shirt on. Let's see, I, I like it. I love the smell, the smell is just what entices me. I smell like guava and passion fruit and just candy and yes, live for that. On my non-existent collarbones that I eventually will be coming out because I am on a mission. And then there you go you see that just like a natural kind of glow and i love it this is nice like i like this one better because it doesn't it's like a sheen it doesn't have any like glittery flecks the other one had like sparkly glitter kind of things and i dig this i like it's just like healthy looking skin like yes come hither right here yes I like it. Okay, this is the final look. I just put my hair down, clipped it, put some earrings on because the sun is going down and I needed to finish this video. My thoughts on, let's see, let's get some light in here. Better. The sun is going down, so we'll have to work with it. But yes, this is the final look. I love it. This is pretty. I enjoyed it. I love everything. This palette is amazing. I dig it a lot. Um, I like their 18 pan palettes better than um, any of their other ones um, that I tried, except for the little bite size ones. I adore the little bite size ones. And then this is so cute. I love it what it did to my inner corner. I dig it. I like it. We're going to play with it more. This lip gloss and lip. Um, liners these lip liners are super creamy they're really nice they glide on lips i enjoy them nice and pigmented i dig it 
like I said. And this by far is probably like my favorite thing right now. I can see a little bit of shimmer, but not much. And I dig it. I love it. I am glowing to the gods and goddesses. And yes, that completes this video. If you guys enjoyed watching me review these e.l.f. products and just playing with e.l.f. products in general, then please like this video. Of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below so you get notified every time I upload videos, which is three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You know, if life permits, e.l.f. is an amazing brand. You guys should definitely go ahead and try it out. If you're beginners, if you're um, wanting to get back into makeup, they have an array of makeup for all levels of makeup artists makeup enthusiasts me included i am a makeup enthusiast and i started with elf and i enjoy them i think they are one of the best brands out there to start your collection to start your makeup journey it is what it is i definitely recommend them 10 out of 10 i love all their products so yeah thanks again for all the love and the support and i will see all you beauties in my next video bye